Hey guys, welcome to askacpa.co. My name is Brett Phillips. I'm a CPA here in Dallas, Texas. And today we're looking at the top 10 business deductions for small businesses. Let's jump into it. Business deductions are gonna vary greatly depending on your industry, but most companies have these 10 business deductions in common. As always, documentation is key to successfully taking business deductions on your taxes. So make sure you're using a separate business bank account and credit cards to segregate your business activity from your personal activity. The IRS requires a business deduction to be ordinary and necessary to be a tax deductible item. The IRS defines ordinary expenses as anything that is common and accepted by a specific trade or business. The IRS defines necessary expenses as anything that is helpful and appropriate, but not indispensable. With that in mind, let's take a look at the top 10 business deductions. Let's get started. First up, let's take a look at software. So as your business grows and scales, a variety of software is gonna be needed to help run your business smoothly. Most companies are gonna implement a customer relationship management software known as a CRM, um, similar to like Salesforce, and then they're gonna implement an accounting software similar to QuickBooks, and then even an inventory tracking software if your business has inventory. Whatever your tech stack is made up of, all of these costs are gonna be 100% tax deductible. Next, let's take a look at business meals. So most meals are typically limited to a 50% tax deduction. For example, if a meal costs you $100, then you'll be allowed a $50 tax deduction. Congress enacted special rules for tax year 2021 and 2022 to allow 100% of these deductions. These new rules were enacted to help restaurants struggling due to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Next, let's take a look at business travel. So business travel deductions are gonna be 100% tax deductible. So this includes airfare, trains, buses, taxi cab rides, Uber and Lyft rides, hotels, baggage fees, car rental, parking fees, road, uh, toll roads, uh, dry cleaning, laundry, and tips you pay to staff while you're on a trip. The only items that would not be 100% tax deductible would be any entertainment expense, which is non-deductible, and meals, which may be limited to 50% tax deductible. Number four, contract labor. So depending on your business's model, contract labor can often be one of the largest tax deductions for small businesses. Using independent contractors can allow businesses to hire experts in certain areas without having to bring someone on full time. As a good practice, you should request a W-9 from your contractor before the first payment is made if you're gonna be paying them more than $600. A 1099 NEC will be need to be issued by the following year by January 31st. Number five is gonna be rent. So if your business has a traditional office space, a co-working space, or you know, you're a solo practitioner working uh, in your home office, one of the largest business deductions businesses typically incur is gonna be rent expense. Office rent can be a huge expense the larger your headcount gets, and office expense is always 100% tax deductible. Number six is gonna be advertising and marketing. Depending on your ad spend, this can be a huge deduction for businesses, especially if you sell online products or, or you're doing a lot of online advertising to gain some brand recognition. These deductions include digital advertising, billboards, business cards, flyers, marketing material, logo and website design. Those are all gonna be 100% tax deductible. Number seven on our list is gonna be retirement contributions. So when you're hiring top talent, it typically requires a substantial benefits package, including retirement benefits. Most companies offer an employee match, which is gonna be paid for by the business. The match is tax deductible by the business. In 2009, the SECURE Act implemented a tax credit for employers to, who start 401k plans. Companies can now receive up to 50% credit of their costs for the first three tax years, up to $5,000. Number eight is gonna be automobile expenses. So business automobile expenses are a huge tax deduction for small businesses. The allowance for accelerated depreciation through section 179 and bonus depreciation make purchasing an automobile very attractive for your business. 
to learn more about automobile expenses and how to maximize that deduction, check out this video here. Number nine, next up on the list, we have depreciation. So some businesses are very capital intensive. They require large equipment, fleets of automobiles, expensive leasehold improvements, large amounts of electronics or custom software. These types of expenses are capitalized onto your balance sheet and then depreciated over the life of the asset. Depending on the type of asset and the year placed in service, the business may qualify to take the whole deduction in a single year or spread it out over its life. This is known as depreciation and this is gonna be a huge tax deduction for many businesses. Finally, number 10 is salaries. So for most companies, the most important asset in their business is their employees. Employee cost is 100% tax deductible, including their salaries, bonuses, health insurance, retirement contributions, um, and any other fringe benefits. So that's 10 of the best business deductions for small to medium sized businesses. Again, if there's an expense that is ordinary and necessary, it's likely going to be tax deductible. As always, check with your CPA to make sure you're using the best practices and you're maximizing your business's tax deduction. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Think about subscribing if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.